Hey everybody, NecroVMX here, and I'm back with more Dragon Quest 2. It's been a couple of days, so, uh... I gotta kinda get my heading here. What the hell am I doing? Um, oh, shitty fuck. Let's see, six... Uh, let me head over to the town, and, uh... I think I was, uh, grinding for equipment, so let's, uh, see what they have and what I need and all that. Let's see what we got. Alright. Uh-huh. Okay, so we're taken care of as far as wizard wands are concerned. And I need one more evade armor. That's the last thing I need. So, 1250 to get that. And then we can move on, and at that point I believe we're going to head to Alethgard. Which is to the east of here, and which was the setting of the first Dragon Quest game. Okay. And what level am I? I'm level 14. Alright. Alright, we got uh, Mega Boons. Thirty-four. We're looking for twelve fifty. We got three man eaters and a zombie. Man eaters. Giant flower vagina. <laughs> With teeth. No less. Why not? Right. 952. It won't take long. This last time I was just like, oh, it's time to stop, you know? Alright, another four zombies. Indeed. There we go. Nice damage there. Oh, for the most part. Critical! Oh, come on, really? All three of them, and attack the one guy. He was defending. Didn't get him. There we go. That should do it. No! And he surrounded us, but it didn't work. That did it. Hey, alright, Drula uh, reached level 13. Hit points up by 2, magic points up by 2, strength up by 8, guard up by 3, agility by 7. Alright, another 200 or so gold. Well, 198. There's a Reaper. Okay, what did I get? A Sickle! Hmm. I'm gonna go sell that. Not sure that I'll get enough for it, but... Ain't gonna hurt, right? I'll just sell it to this guy here. Oh, that's the slot machine, right? Alright. For some reason, I thought it was item shop. Alright, I'll go in here, then. Never mind that! Oh, I did get enough. All right, so let's buy that last evade armor. And uh, who needed it? All right, yeah. All right, and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna sell the um, cloth armor. All right, and let me stay at the inn before we move on to Alfgard, and we're gonna go to the town of Tantagel, which, uh, well, it's a castle town. Uh, you may remember Tantagel was... Uh, where am I going here? Where's the end? Uh, where you started in the very first Dragon Quest game. This is the sequel. We're revisiting it. So that'll be cool. And uh, actually, before I go there, um, I want to get that sunken treasure. So let's do that first. Okay. So, oh, oh. Yeah, the ship... For some reason, whenever you go to Leonport, the ship reverts back to its default position, and you gotta talk to this guy, and it doesn't stay where it is. It only happens at Leonport. Okay. 
Okay, so this is actually Isle of Guard here. As a matter of fact, if you step off, you can hear the, uh, the music from the original Dragon Quest. It's kind of interesting. But, uh, yeah. Alright, three jellyfish, two sea slugs, and a Medusa eye. Alright, take out these jellyfish. Too sweet. Very cool. Alright. That just leaves the Medusa eye. Who's already hit once? There we go. What did I get? An antidote. Very nice. Okay, so basically you just want to kind of go north of where, uh, the, the northwesternmost tip of Alifgard. Right, same exact party that I just fought. Exact same configuration. Go figure. Alright, so you kind of want to, like, just go north from here, where you can... Yeah. Never mind trying to talk, right? You basically, you go to the, the northwesternmost tip, and... Oh, the sea slugs are resistant. Well, at least I hit one. Or two. Okay. And just sail north. You're looking for a patch of water that looks slightly different. It's not too hard to find, but sometimes it does take a little bit of wandering around. Okay. Hmm. Have I gone too far? gone too far. Once you start seeing land, you've gone too far. So let's try a little bit over more this way, and go south. That went way too far. Let's see. Alright, uh, four sea slugs, two jellyfish. Well, I know I can kill the jellyfish with Infernos. These guys are easy enough. Sometimes it takes some wandering around. I might have been too far to the east, I might have been too far to the west. I forget exactly where it is. I'll find it, eventually. Certainly we'll fight enough monsters. Here's some phantoms. That's an enemy from near the beginning of the game. Kind of interesting to find them at sea. I think I may have actually been too far to the uh, to the east. I mean, I have gone more west, but I wanted to just cover my base here. Alright, let's go a little further out west and try that. Alright, more sea slugs and jellyfish, and that's not what I meant to do. Shit. Oh no, it worked, okay. I thought I selected the jellyfish by mistake. Try that sweet breath shit on me. That puts you to sleep if it works. Yeah, I don't have a map to reference in front of me, so I'm just kind of poking around of what I remember. Hmm. Maybe I should get a map up. Well, if I don't find it on this trip... I'll head back to Leonport, stay at the inn, and I'll bring up a map, but... Shouldn't be too hard to find. We're already at nine minutes, look at this, I feel like I've accomplished nothing. <laughs> well, I got that armor, so I did accomplish one thing. What did I get here? A war plane. Wonderful. Alright. Yeah, I think I've gone far enough here. Let's try moving over a little bit and uh, go back down. All 
Alright, a Hawkman, that's a new enemy, and a bunch of Wizard Drakies. They're not exactly new, but I want to make sure I take them out quickly. They start all hitting me with defense, and then the Hawkman starts tearing me apart. Who needs that shit? It's just especially as you can see, it does some damage. I got him there. Right, let me do a little healing here, too. On the uh, wind. Alright. I could be remembering this wrong, but I thought it was fairly close by, you know. Alright, so just a jellyfish, some sea slugs. Not exactly a big deal. Wandering around looking for this stupid sunken treasure. I'm gonna bring up a map on. for a map here. Now let's continue south here. Boy, I feel like I should have hit Leonport already, too. Well, I have the map in front of me, and according to this, uh, kind of the first time I did it, I was right. So I don't know why I uh, didn't hit it, but... I just reached level 15. 8 points up by 3, strength up by 2, uh, magic up by 2, agility up by... Well, whatever, I'm going too faster. Lin with each level 9, hit points up by 5, magic points up by 6, strength up by 1, guard up by 1, agility was something. I hit the buttons just so. Okay, alright, so kind of... Um, Like, uh... Yeah, that's too far to the west. Alright. Um... Yeah, kind of like from right here, just heading north should do it. I don't know why I missed it, but... It should be somewhere around here. It's a little further up, but... It's not that far off, either, so... Alright, jellyfish and sea slugs. And, you know, you level up a little. Not a big deal. There's probably going to be, I believe, this new equipment over at uh, Tantagel, so you need money for that anyway. All right, keep an eye out. Come on, where is it? I think it, it may be because I haven't talked to... Hmm. It might, I might have had to talk to somebody first. You know what? Yeah, I think I have to head to Tantagel. I mean, because the guy in Leonport mentioned that there was a sunken treasure, but now that I think about it, I, I think you have to actually talk to the guy that tells you, like, where it is before it shows up. Because I, I went well north enough. But anyway, let's head to Tantagel now, then. And, uh, actually, I, it's quite a bit of a way. I mean, I could actually, uh, get there pretty quickly. Or I could, um... I'm thinking of how I can do it. I can, I can sail the ship kind of, like, all the way around to the south and dock it right near the castle. Or I could take a short walk from where Leonport is. I think I'll just take the short walk. Yeah. I'm gonna do that. Jesus. Alright. More enemies. Come on, I put Lynn to sleep. Wait. Fish. She don't want to go to sleep. She's not tired. See, she just woke up. She heard me saying that. And here we 
we go. Uh, yeah, you yeah, right around here. Okay. Oop. What do we got? Gremlin. Yeah, the monsters here could be a little more powerful, too. Critical! Which is why it's safest to dock the ship near the castle, but it's a long haul to do that. Alright, so here's Tantagel. Welcome to Tantagel Castle. Yeah, I just said that. Let's go talk to, uh, well, the king's not there, but let's go up there anyway. Oh, you must be the descendants of Lodo the Hero. What an honor. Our king has gone into hiding out of fear of Hargon. How humiliating. Your king sucks. Oh, yeah, I should end it here. I'll see you guys real soon with the next part. And we're going to explore Tantagil, the castle of the town, a little bit more. See you then.